Hello everybody. Time for another installment in my little hydrogen generator experiment. You remember the uh, little hydrogen plates, the, or the little generator we built and uh, showed you in the last couple little videos. Well I went into work today and my boss John McDonald is as interested in this as I am I think. He found me a large square plastic jar that uh, cashews came in. The plastic top made it very simple to run the uh, bus bar connections through. Put a little fitting on here to uh, capture the gas. So I want to show you what we're finding out. Earlier tonight I did a little experimenting with electrolyte and I discovered a little bit of electrolyte goes a long long way. I started out putting about a tablespoon in this reservoir. The uh, reservoir is a little more than a quart I think. The jar holds a little bit more than a quart. I started out with a tablespoon of baking soda and found out very quickly that it makes all the difference in the world. I had planned on making the generator a little bigger and adding a few more plates but I found out that wasn't at all necessary with the uh, addition of a little bit of electrolyte. So now in this reservoir I only have about a quarter teaspoon of uh, baking soda in this electrolyte. The reason that I had to scale it back was the amperage draw on the battery charger that I'm using to power this it pegged the battery charger, overheated the battery charger and it shut itself off. Although for the few moments that it ran it was incredible at one tablespoon per about a quart or a little better of water here. Uh, I also experimented with some rainwater that I captured and ran through a coffee filter just to get the yuck out of it and I discovered that the rainwater, which is for all practical purposes uh, free of all mineral content, is uh, well it's, it's not very good. Very very little very little uh, hydrogen reaction at all. Very little. You might notice we've also uh, added a bubbler uh, for safety reasons for works and uh, and visually we can see the bubbles and give us a better idea how it's going. Well I've got a quarter tablespoon of baking soda in here. I've got us all hooked up. I'm going to put the power to to the unit here and, and we'll see how it does. Uh, I've got to tell you I ran a little while ago. I'm a little disappointed. I thought it would do better but it, it is working. So hold on. We'll turn the power on. There's the power. I'm seeing some reaction already in our vessel. You might see in the top of the jar there so a little bit of foam starting. I did this a little earlier. I just wanted to show it to you. The amp meter on our battery charger, the battery charger amp meter registers up to 8 amps. It's quivering at about where I would expect the 10 amp setting to be. So I'm going to call it 10 amps of uh, DC at 12 volts and uh, we're getting reaction but not near what I was expecting. We're almost ready for the bubbler to start working. I can see the air bubble coming down. It's almost there and it is below about two inches of water for the, the, uh, the discharge point here. Two inches or a little better water depth. I really expect it to do better but I think this is all that we're going to get from this small amount of power involved. In the reservoir I can see about half of the reservoir is clouded up with foam. There's an air bubble just just about well a hydrogen and oxygen bubble just about to start escaping from the bubbler. As it runs for a few minutes and it builds pressure it'll do a little bit better. But I think, uh, I think we're going to need more than the 8 or 10 amps that we're putting into the project here. So tomorrow I think we're going to secure a, a, a battery. Oh, there went our first bubble. And uh, see a second one forming. But as it runs for a few minutes and starts working a little better, it'll, it'll start. And uh, a little while ago we were averaging about one bubble every second. 
and uh, and my battery charger overheated and shut itself down. We had to start all over again. I can hear the reaction in the going on. I can hear the reaction going on. I can see it pretty good. Looks like we're getting some pretty regular bubbles now. Let's see, there's uh, one. We'll count on the next one. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four about four seconds apart. But I don't think it's going to speed up. Yeah, that was another one very quickly. Okay, we'll have time on the next one. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. Yeah, a little quicker, not much. But our battery charger is pegging and, and, and quivering at about where I expect a 10 amp setting to be. I'm kind of disappointed. I really hope to get better performance, but I guess it's just going to take more amps. If, uh, if I add any more electrolyte, the battery charger overheats way too quick. Although we do get more, uh, more hydrogen, but uh, we're just going to have to, we're going to have to have more than the 8 or 10 amps that we're working with here. Well, anyway, I was just checking in show you where we're at now we have a bubbler for safety and uh, let's see what we're doing one one thousand two one thousand three one about every three seconds now it's improving but like I said more work to be done it's getting better uh, we've we've established that uh, the conductance in the water the electrolyte level in the water is very important this is this is not where you want distilled water it uh, it's just not going to do much for us because the mineral content is too low